Okay, we're on. So how do you feel about all of that? Um, I feel fine. I feel pretty chirpy. Um, and I think we're back to the same problem where, although it is obviously a massive, massive problem, I somehow create a scene in my head where it's not. It's totally normal. And I just get on with my life. Um, because this is my normal. This is 18 years, or probably getting on for 19 now. Um, so I feel fine. And everybody else who knows and cares about you is holding their head in their hands. Right. And here we go again. That's just not on your radar. Well, they would be if I told them. Well, you are doing now. Yeah, I am doing now, except that we haven't yet released the videos. <laughs> and maybe, oh, I hadn't realised this until you asked me that question. I wonder if how I think about this will change if I'm not just accountable to a camera and to you and to her, to the specialist, but if I absolutely know that I have to say all of that to my family, to people that know me. Does that change your state? Oh, it doesn't change my state, because it's not real yet. Um, and also last night, the, the eating disorder specialist said she wasn't sure whether showing the binge video, um, the first one that kicked all this off, would was safe for other people watching, which is something that, that you know, we've talked about and are, are aware might, might have been the case. So I don't know whether that one will ever be shown. And there was a bit of me, there was, there was a fair bit of me last night that was thinking, oh, that's a nice get out of jail free card. <laughs> um, yeah. A lot easier to talk on video about how I'm really doing the right thing to get better than it is to have me spitting food into a blender jug. As you've said whilst these videos have been made, and very forcefully, that you feel strongly the accountability of the video. Yeah, I do. And, but it didn't make any difference to last night. Yeah, but last night we hadn't shot one for three days, and I think, I think that is part of why. I think the combination of uh, two days without a lockbox and three days between shooting videos, I think that is more than enough wiggle room for ED to go, oh, hello, we're back.